This is Matt Schlapp, the chairman of the American Conservative Union, and we are all over here in Tokyo for CPAC Japan. Uh, we had the honor to sit down with the fiance of Andy Chan, who was just arrested uh, in Hong Kong, literally boarding a plane to come be one of the most prominent speakers at this year's CPAC conference in Tokyo. Um, we sat down with his fiance, who did get out of Hong Kong and is here in Tokyo. And I think you're going to enjoy uh, listening to the conversation we had with her. We want to uh, respect your anonymity and this time, which is uh, very stressful, I'm sure, for Andy and for people who love him. Um, I want you to know uh, that the American people stand with you, stand with Andy in this fight for basic human rights, uh, as you describe, that the American people um, feel a kinship to what's happening in the streets of Hong Kong. And um, I think it's really important for our English speaking uh, listeners to understand um, why we're here. We're here uh, with our Japanese friends, our American friends, friends all over the globe, friends in Hong Kong, because this is an important moment on the globe. As you look at Hong Kong, what do the uh, American people specifically What's the one message they need to understand when they watch these amazing scenes of the people uh, protesting on the streets, as you said, for basic human rights? You mean what I want to, what I want the Americans to see yeah. in currently Hong Kong situation? Yes. Um right now Hong Kong has a three month long struggle and has been very exhausting. What the people in Hong Kong wants is not the international community not to let up its attention on Hong Kong. What Hong Kong is now experiencing is a human rights crisis, and there are certain basic needs that is not being met in Hong Kong. And what I would like is the international community to understand what the needs of Hong Kong are and to increase its attention to the struggle in Hong Kong. Uh, and then the other thing I think uh, uh, the American audience would want to know is specifically, what do you want your uh, friends in democratic countries around the globe what should they be doing to help the people of Hong Kong? So, as I said before, there are certain basic needs in Hong Kong that are not being met, like medical needs. There are protesters who have been beaten and would not dare to go to the hospital to get treatment because they are worried that they will be arrested. So one of the things the international community can do is send in help, um, especially medical help. So right now we have a new message. We understand that after 97, even the prosperity, the economic development, and all the other things that have been promised have been eroded. And what Hong Kong people now want to tell the world is we will sacrifice these things 
But what we want is the ultimate freedoms that was guaranteed to us. And we want the international community to understand that we are willing to sacrifice. Well, we stand with you in this struggle, in this fight. And uh, please know that uh, you have a lot of friends in America, in Japan, and across the globe. And uh, we honor and respect your commitment. And uh, I agree with what Andy said. Freedom isn't free, and there's a lot of pain that comes along with the struggle, but you get to the other side. So uh, in my tradition, uh, in, a, in a uniquely American tradition in some ways, uh, I ask God's blessings for the work that you're doing and for Andy's safety. And thank you very much. え、香港の問題は決して香港だけの問題ではなく、これは日本の問題であり、また台湾の問題であり、アジア諸国の問題であり、そしてアメリカ、世界の問題であります。え、この香港で起きている大きな事件を決して他人事と思わず自由のため、
for the final victory will be ours. Let us hold onto each other hand and continue the fight. Thank you and honor to Hong Kongers.